joining me now is Sine Benson Larsen from the Danish Cancer Society. And she has some brand new insights, study results that haven't been published yet, but are with us now on EAU TV. Welcome. Thank you. Sine, what effects might statins have on prostate cancer? Could you tell us a little bit about your, your research? Yeah, um, this is a preliminary result of our investigations of uh, statin use and prognosis. Uh, among more than 30,000 Danish prostate cancer patients. Um, in our main analysis, we found uh, a 17% uh, decreased risk of prostate cancer specific mortality uh, among statin users and a similar reduced risk for death of all causes. So this is quite a promising outcome, is yeah. it? Um, I mean, we used uh, Danish registries, uh, nationwide registries to do the study and uh, in Denmark, all residents are signed with a unique uh, identification number, which actually allows us to link information from several registries. Um, and the main registries used in this study is uh, the cancer registry, the prescription registry, and the cause of death registry. And another advantage by doing this study in Denmark is that uh, statins are only purchased by prescription. Therefore, we have uh, very good detailed information uh, on the statin use, including uh, both pre- and post-diagnostic use, and the duration and which uh, type of statin uh, the patients have used. So you could say the Danish healthcare system helped you a little bit with the yeah. trial you were yeah. doing. Could you s tell us a little bit more about the outcome of the study and how it might affect future treatment of cancer, prostate cancer? Yeah, although this looks promising, um, we need uh, randomized trials to establish whether or to what extent this is a causal association because statins also affect the general uh, uh, survival uh, because it has a major influence on the risk of cardiovascular diseases and that may uh, uh, help prostate cancer patients to tolerate the hormone treatment better and thereby improving, uh, improving their survival. You said that these are preliminary results, yeah. so what are you going to investigate now in order to put more strength on your hypothesis? We need to go more to details about this to see whether this is a, a true association or whether it's caused by some uh, uh, confounding factors um, that could be uh, comorbidities and uh, uh, uses of other drugs. and. You know, general, general better health is also suggested, um, suggested among statin users, so that could also be a reason. So we have to look uh, more into that before we can go out and say uh, anything more about it. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me. It was great to talk to you. Thank you.